Hello and welcome to our Music Business course video. I'm the course leader, Tom. Our big sell is about the amazing work you can make and the wonderful experiences and opportunities you'll have if you come here. Currently, one of my projects is managing a London-based artist called, called Floralyn. Um, I chose to do that because I've been following her for years and when she actually published it, like an offer, I was like, yes, I want to do that. And my course leader is also really excited about it. The main project that I'm working on at the moment, uh, my third year is called Posted UK. Uh, I've developed it with a friend of mine from back home and using all the facilities and advice from uh, all the lecturers and staff here at the uni. Um, we've been using it to take it forward a bit more. The primary goal of it is to promote underground, primarily uh, hip hop, R&B artists um, across the UK and just give them more attention and yeah. For one of my modules this year, it's called Major Project and I've decided to do a podcast series. A couple like that can obviously really support me in my broadcast journalism application and I'm also the station manager for the student radio station here. So podcasting and radio, I feel like they fit quite well together. I am the founder of a platform called Sass and Snarl. So I primarily work with my generation um, who want to get into the music industry and want to be creatives, whether graphic designers, photographers, journalists. And I believe that because we're the next generation of the music industry, we can not only invest in our own future, but also the future of the music industry. So that's what we do. Let's look deeper into that work and start with Keely, whom you've just met. In her first year, Keely launched a platform called Sass and Snarl, a global community of talented young creatives in music, featuring workshops, networking events and consultancy. She has coordinated a brilliant UK conference during our November Media Festival, and her guests came from UK Music, with whom we're accredited, Women in Control, Key Change, Kiss, Warners, Sound City, the Brit Awards and the BPI, Generator, and She Said So. She followed this up in April with a full day of discussions, debates, networking and live DJ mixes called The Revolution Will Be Televised. Pretty impressive to run your own conferences while in your second year at uni. Megan, also from our second year, put together the live drum and bass event, herself an experienced DJ from Bristol. It's not at all uncommon for our music business students to have musical skills and talents themselves, which they apply and hone using all the same facilities available to our fellow music students. Emily, from our third year, has been putting together a five-day live tour across the UK with Megan and an all-female DJing lineup. All happening this summer, neither they nor we can wait. You met Jack earlier, and this is where his posted UK platform for hip-hop and R&B has got to. Absolutely teeming with great content, beautifully and carefully branded. Jack found his niche over the course of the first two years with us, as to so many of our students, because of the huge range of opportunities and possibilities afforded them. And now, he's taking Posted UK and really running with it. Having graduated from our music business degree last summer, Jordan Pepin is currently studying and developing his practice on our MA course and has been snapped up by regional powerhouse The Music Works to be a board trustee and co-chair of the Music Inclusion Conference. This is the region's first youth-led music conference, its purpose being to bring together music educators, industry professionals and young people with a stake in the future of music in Gloucestershire. Here's Louis in our third year, who has established a multi-platform brand called No Buses. The purpose is to promote local, underground, Indian alternative acts in a new way, unlike established brands like NME. And he's achieving this through social media and events. As you can see, the aesthetic is heavily influenced by 90s Britpop culture, but given a modern twist. And his aim is to build this brand aesthetic so it becomes synonymous with No Buses and the entire culture around it. Throughout her degree, Rebecca Rees has been curious about the deep relationship between technology and the modern music industry, exploring how digital disruption and the rise of new platforms are changing the culture of our creative industries. She has used her final major project as an opportunity to transition this research from university and into the industry, creating a platform to invite creative professionals in. 
professionals such as global marketing researchers, intellectual property right managers, and freelance content producers. They share their insights on how we can harness the opportunities new tech provides. Digital Dissect is the name of her podcast that platforms these discussions. Do go and check it out. I could bring up four or five times more examples, but hopefully you can see the point here about the breadth and ambition of this work. This course is highly practical, risk-taking and enterprising, highly socially engaged, and built around the principle that our students will lead the way. You can get a strong sense of how committed we all are to leading on change in the UK's music and media industries via our sites and our socials, particularly our work in inclusion, in sustainability, and accessibility, which is published and promoted via our socials, such as Instagram here, where you can also get a sense of the huge range of guests and special sessions we put on. Many of them are our own graduates, because one of the great things about having a course focusing successfully on music business and the media is that with 15 years of graduates and all the experience of our staff, there is no area of these industries that we don't touch in some way. Let's move on to our graduates and take, for example, five of our recent graduate guests since Easter 2021. First up, Jack David, who graduated from us in 2013 and got his first break in Universal as an intern in international marketing, after having carefully networked and progressed his career while at uni. He's now senior manager in international marketing, working with the likes of Tiesto, Rita Ora, Medusa, Taylor Swift, Lord and Paul McCartney. Sophie graduated more recently and is now hugely enjoying her role at the UK's trade body for the independent recorded music sector, AIM, working as membership administrator. Harris here is now with DMY Artists, also in London, and it's interesting how his path is quite typical for our graduates, taking at first a year-long placement at the grime label No Hats, No Hoods, before developing his career and joining DMY. Georgie Dillon has also worked her way up since graduating, now box office and marketing manager at the famous Gladstone Theatre in Port Sunlight, while MZ Peterson used her week's work experience with the groundbreaking information tech and services company Blocker to help secure a full-time role with them as a marketing associate. If you now look at the companies our students have taken their year-long work experience with over the last few years, not only do you see the range and reputation of them, but several of them, of course, are the same companies our graduates are now employed by. Our students can leave pretty strong reputations behind and are asked back on graduation. Let's now zero in on the work experience we offer. How is it embedded into the course? Well, firstly, all music business students build up experiences in a kind of running tally over their whole time here, culminating in a final year module called Professional Experience. You get support from our Future Plan Careers Development Specialists and their resources, and you can also access career support, development and counselling for years after you graduate, which is one of our promises at the University of Gloucestershire. Then there is our full year-long placement offering, called a sandwich year, where you can do a full year's industry placement after your second year here, then return for your final year to finish off your degree, full of confidence and often with a strong confirmation of your future career direction. You've just seen the kind of companies people have been with, and it's worth saying we are very flexible, so if you start a three-year degree with us and decide you do actually want to switch to a four-year one and take the placement year, you can, or vice versa. Our course map, our modules, are all available to check out online, right down to the detail of how they are assessed, which in our case is about 95% coursework. Naturally, a majority of our assessments are practical, and we train you up to be managing projects and making things happen very quickly. Please also check out what our third years do in our production company, Out the Box, which is both a company in its own right and a major component of our third year, which all students take leadership roles in. One of the best and most rewarding experiences we think a student can have. It's really hard work, it's challenging, it's demanding, but the achievement levels are off the scale. So check them out on otbgloss.com. One thing you will notice is that we were the major actor in our reader, one thing you will notice is that we were a major actor in our region for the recovery of the live music industry in 2020. Please read the team's GMSR report on the front page and note how we also submitted evidence to the inquiry of the Department of Culture, Media and Sport into the future of UK music festivals. It's worth being aware how our course has national and international impact in research. Which leads me finally to talk about Cheltenham itself, which is a beautiful place to live and work, a culturally alive town 
but one where you're only ever 10 minutes away from nature. A uni experience is about friendships, about taking pleasure in your life and work, and allowing yourself the time and space to express yourself. And Cheltenham and Gloucestershire are great places to do that. Our course gained a 100% rating for satisfaction in the National Student Survey in the most recent survey. One of the reasons being, we are also exceptionally demanding and stimulating when it comes to engaging with big ideas. So if you like your politics, your philosophy, your aesthetics, your law, your futures thinking, creativity and sustainability, then please join us and all our curious minds. Welcome back and I hope you enjoyed that snapshot of what we do here. We look forward to meeting you at Open Day or an interview where you'll get a chance to discuss your grand ideas and we'll explain how we can help you fulfil them. Thank you.